Hi everyone, I'm going to react to My Hero Academia episode 95, match 3. <laughs> I've said this like, well, before I started posting. Well, yeah, in the first episode of this season, I said that just as, it's just as, just as they were dropping the episodes, I started watching them, but then I watched it until after, until episode 6. And then I stopped watching, and now I'm starting back up, <laughs> watching it like back up. And we are like January 29th, and that's when I'm recording this <laughs> episode. So it's like this is like more than a year later, and it's like I just as I was editing my previous reactions that's was making me sort of like catch up with the um, what i previously watched so now i'm basically back into the fray of things i guess so yeah last episode was the match between um yaorozo and uh, the the big-handed girl and class b and class b1 which i previously predicted that they were gonna win but yaorozo did give them a run for their money so the match ended with their win class b winning and now uh, we're about to start i guess match three whoever that's gonna be uh yeah so that's what happened last episode and before we get into this one because i'm a reaction please give it a thumbs up subscribe and please consider supporting my patreon at patreon.com slash and now let's start this episode and here we go you know, I was going through the episode, um, just trying to write, write down uh, Pony's name and, you know, um, quirk and everything. And then they said that she can shoot off um, her horns and control them, and she can control up to four horns. And then I'm looking at the scene play out, and she shot off four horns to basically um, pick up uh, Shoji. That's his name. The guy that can hear stuff. Yeah, Shoji. So she launched like four horns at him to, you know, take him away. And then she launched another two at Tetsu Tetsu to basically propel him into um, punching Shoujo to the rookie. You know, so that's six <laughs> horns, isn't it? That's a total of six horns, but the um, announcer said, uh, announcer by the per person that, yeah, the quirk, the announcer the quirks, that explains the quirks. It's like she can control up to four, but that's like six total. So, like, I'm confused about how that happened. But either way, um, this episode went by really fast for some reason. I don't know why. After the, the last match ended, they took everybody to go um, recovery girl. They prescribed some kind of medicine for, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. for Tokoyami, um, like, duh. And then, um, Yao Yorozu is like laid out. So they're like, there was a whole bunch of um, mess after that match ended. So they're like, okay, we're going to move to another location. And then, you know, we're going to have this third match over there. And the third match had um, Todoroki, Ida, um, Shoji and who else? Um, I'm forgetting his name. The tail guy against Tetsu Tetsu. Tetsu Tetsu Juzo Pony and the Sen some something. So Tetsu Tetsu is like, you know what? I, I don't even want to think about a strategy or anything. I'm just going to go at them head on. He just started destroying stuff. And you have class A be like, I guess we're just going to go there and face them head on. And then they make their way there. Todoroki unleashes his eyes. But he doesn't, he can still see and everything. And he, in their minds, they are basically having class B stuck in one place. And they can just pick them off one by one. 
But it turns out that Juzo had this ability of making everything that he turns in make, make it soft. So, yeah, it, it didn't work out the way they thought. They had, he, um, he had either like all the way down, it closed in this ice stuck, stuck there. Um, the, the tail dude no, was basically facing, um, Gyro, Gyro, he's quick. Quirk is Gyro, right? I think he's hero enemy spiral. They say he can make any part of him, like, you know, basically turn into a, a ton of his. <laughs> he can make his body part like a spiral, whatever. So he's facing him, and then, um, you had Todoroki, you had Trudy behind Todoroki because that was. To them, the safest place, so that Choji can like hear where the enemies were and everything. But then, um, the girl shoot off the thing, took, um, Shoji away. Who is called Shoji that I know? Oh, Naruto. Okay, so he took Shoji away, and um, the sister came in and then like punched to the rookie, I believe. And Ida was in there, and Juzo was basically thought that that was it for um, Ida because he can only use his recipro burst for only like a short time. And my boy's like, no, -uh. I moved past that. And then they showed this flashback of um, his brother and the mom talking about this technique that they have in the family for generations that it might be time for him to learn learn about it and that he had to take out his I don't know anything about engines you know so I'm pretty sure the explanation that they they gave it made sense as to why it would give him you know he can go recipro turbo for like 10 minutes and everything but like me and mechanics and stuff i'm like nah i don't know nothing about that but the process of it like taking out the muffles or whatever out of his legs <coughs> that looked painful so the fact that he did that and then he went through his training and now he can do this recipro turbo for like 10 minutes it's like it's awesome now are they gonna win that's <laughs> that's the main thing of this are they gonna win you know um you would think that they will win you know we're having these shoto and ida like they are on the team they are like the main big big two of the of this team of class a you know so you would think with those two on there you will win but i don't know Class A, sometimes, class A, not class A, class B, sometimes come up with these, you know, we don't spend a lot of time with class B, so we don't know their abilities and everything, we don't know what kind of training they've went through, so it's like they can come up with something to, you know, win, and all that, so I don't know, I, I, I can't put it past them, you know, that they're going to be able to win, but for now, we don't know, so that was where the match ended, I believe. Um, if that was doing the Recipro Turbo was right after Juzo, and that's why I stopped there. But before that, you had oh, Bakugo. You had Bakugo, and uh, well, first All Might came and approached Midoriya, and it's like, let's have a talk. And then he asked him if anything happened, you know, after the dream and his power being activated and everything if it if anything has happened after that and then that's when Bakugo showed up and he's like y'all want me to keep the secret but then you guys are meeting you know like in public and discussing this stuff so like, what are you guys doing what's happening Did something happen with your power and that's when um he told them about the dream and the power being activated and, and all of that and then he's like <laughs> Are you moving backwards? 
<laughs> how long will it take you for you to master this quirk and everything and the way he st he's was speaking you can tell that he's he's worried okay he he cares you know in his own way about it but then he doesn't like it when people are like you know how Midoriya had this goofy grin on his face and everything he's like yeah i'm gonna control it and everything he doesn't like when people are showing some kind of soft emotion and stuff like that so he started screaming I him again to stop that <sighs> Hello, Baku. so and then um oh my mentioned the fact that okay you had the power that got activated after the um midori i saw the dream and the vestiges of the one for all and then you know that he's gonna be facing um, shinzo i believe in the fifth fight and he also was able to get him to see the vestiges and everything and then all my was like okay is this all part of the plan you know it must be connected somehow and i'm like yeah it may be connected but what are you trying to say that the the vestiges of one for all like saw this happening or many, i don't know whatever um i think that was it with them and then we had endeavor going around i guess um stopping villains they only showed the one villain that was on all fours and I'm wondering, does his hands and feet, like, the, does he come like that? Or is he wearing some kind of, are those devices that he's wearing on his hands and feet to get him to move around? I don't know. But they caught him. And the kids were trying to say thank you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Endeavor didn't used to care about mushy stuff like that you know caring if the guys are okay or not if the kids are okay he will probably come into his thing and just leave but since he's on a different path now he's like are you guys okay okay take care of yourselves and stuff so the kids were happy and then <laughs> he was like thanks to fool i'm i'm pretty sure that was that must be the sister shoto sister now he's He's not his, his friend on, I, mean, I don't know what kind of social media it is, but he's he's like a friend now. Shuto's friend on the sh social media. He's testing. Shuto, Shuto's not responding and he's like upset about it. And he's like, okay, now that you're going on this new path, um, I need to teach you this one move. And then the, they showed the same flashback that Shoto saw before the, he went into his match, he was having this flashback about this training that him and Endeavor were having, where Endeavor was saying to him that he needed to learn this particular move. And he said that Toya, their big brother, um, had more firepower than him, but his constitution was weak, just like Ray's was. So I guess he wasn't able to learn this particular move. And he feels like Shoto should be able to learn this move. And... At first, because he was so single-minded and focused on being besting All Might and everything, he didn't particularly care about what Shoto wanted or how Shoto felt and everything. And now that Shoto is like on this new path, and he's also on this new path to try to make amends and everything, he's like, okay, now he can take Shoto's feelings i guess into consideration and talk to him about this move and maybe he will want to learn the move and all that so he's waiting for shoto to reply to him and um, yeah so that was it with him was there anything else uh, no i don't think there was anything else in much so yeah now we'll see next episode if Who's gonna win between class A and class B? <sighs> There's five matches, right? The last match is gonna be between uh, Midoriya and Shinzo. Shinzo won his first match, so I'm guessing Midoriya is gonna win the fifth one. And if class A is gonna win overall, we already have. <laughs> one win and one loss then i'm gonna assume that todoroki 
Stem class A is gonna win this match, and then the next one maybe class B is gonna win, and then the fifth match is gonna be class A with Midoriya and Mana. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction to the next episode, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash And you can also see the full one for this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.